guys, welcome back. So today we want to talk a little bit about uh, a nuance we've been seeing in our hybrid mm. fitting specifically. Uh, Nippon released a shaft towards sort of last, maybe early last winter, late yep. in the fall. Uh, the Nippon, the Ghost graphite on steel. I'm sure a lot of you who kind of follow the forums and, and Golf WRX, My Golf Spike, etc. Our mm. channel, we've reviewed it. We did a video yep. on it. Yep. Um, are, are now aware of, of this shaft. So the construction of the shaft is, is a steel core with, with sort of graphite wrapped around the outside right. uh, of that. So a little bit of additional weight from being a, a sort of um, you know, multi-material shaft. So it's about 100 grams in the X? Yes, 102 gram in the X. In yeah. the X. So that's, it's that's on the higher end, today. obviously, of, of hybrid shafts. It is, it definitely is. And, uh, and that's something where we want to talk about the nuance in, in which we actually have begun to utilize these shafts for something a little bit different. Mm. Um, I think the, the hybrid is still, for some people, hugely successful. But definitely. For oh, some yeah. people, they yeah. still can't quite figure out the placement of a hybrid. Is it a wood? Is mm. it an iron? Yeah. Do you treat it as quite literally a hybrid? Yes. Something in between. Um, and, and we've tried obviously multiple different ways. We've tried slightly longer shafts, maybe plate more like a wood. Mm -hmm. And in recent weeks, um, call it weeks rather than months, I've yeah. actually had way more success treating it more like an iron. So you've gone, and I was here for one of the fittings you did, you went shorter yeah. than standard. So what is, like, give me some idea. This is a four hybrid I have right. here. Right, and let's go, let's go, let's grab yours. And so this is a three hybrid, we are gonna, Yeah, still. we're going to do a little comparison with yours today, but Jeez, okay, in terms so of the length. It's a lot. We, we have a, a significant difference in like length. Almost two inches? Almost two inches, okay. right? So um, we're playing this close to, clo a little closer to four iron length, probably gotcha. three iron length. Gotcha. Uh, rather than uh, out at hybrid length. So the reason we get away with that is because we have more mass in the shaft to allow us to do that. So if it was a lighter shaft? It would be a harder deal. So it'd be a rough yeah, build. If you, gotcha. if you were in there um, at mm. sort of 60 grams, 70 grams, cutting it down that short, you're probably going to get a little bit a little bit too light. You'll start to mm. maybe lose a little bit of control at that point. Um, Interesting. So... I want to test it against yours today. Um, it's something that I thought of a little bit for you because I know at times you can get a little bit, a little bit heated with that hybrid. It can start going a little too far. I mean, I've seen you hit it at 270, 275 yeah. at times. It can get low, <clears throat> get low and low spin, yeah. low launch and low spin. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not quite the, I don't, it doesn't perform like a long arm, which is yeah. essentially what it needs to do. It needs to perform like a very long iron, basically. That's exactly right. And uh, I've seen people really struggle with hybrids sort of in the past. And you know, when you go to a slightly shorter shaft, it, it really starts to work a lot better That's for them. That's really interesting. Um, people have obviously talked over the years about hooking hybrids too much. Yes, definitely. I think one of the reasons is the lie angle sits too, uh, too upright. Right. And going a little bit shorter is going to help address that lie angle situation. Right. So the longer the shaft, the more the club does that. Correct. And then you get the opposite effect from shorting. It's smart. Yeah. Because yeah. this isn't even an adjustable hybrid. So we haven't no. done anything. Nothing at all. This is the stock lie on both mm -hmm. uh, and just shaft length. Exactly. We know they're not the same head, but they're yeah. pretty close. <laughs> and, and we were looking at potentially going into a 22 for you this year anyway, yeah. trying to give you a bit more control. Definitely. When we were playing some golf over the winter uh, down south, we probably felt that you needed a, a flighted option. Yes. You know, for those maybe 240 to 255 shots. Yeah. And, and this that, could be right in your wheelhouse. I for think that. it could be because it's not. I, I'm very unlikely to pull out a three wood mm. for, on a par five. Yeah. Mostly just because most par fives aren't long enough. Yeah. Um, unless I was playing like a crazy tour length mm -hmm. course, but that club I would rather have that 240, 250 shot than trying to like rope a four iron, yeah. which I've tried to do a bunch. And never. I mean, never works out. Let's no. be honest. So. Um, yeah, I think that could make it a little bit more of a, a club that I actually take out of the bag regularly. Because right now it yep. just kind of collects dust for the most part. Okay, so let's hit a few with yours. Okay. Let's get a couple of baseline swings with the, the old M6 with the 10C100. Okay. Fair to say you've liked this club. I, I do like it a lot, absolutely. Yeah, it's the best hybrid I've ever had for yeah. sure. Um, but I, I do think that there's probably some, some room to, to make it better. Okay. Okay, that's... That looks to me like you're... That's exactly how I hit it. Your hybrid. A little kind of ropey, a little hot.
That's nice. It's a pretty good example there of, mm -hmm. of what you don't really want yours to do. That's as well as I can hit my hybrid. That's a good one. Okay, good. Almost. It's really close. Yeah, it was really close. Probably one you get away with way more with this hybrid there, Matty. Yeah, that kind of sort of toe side one. Yeah. Yep, yeah that was the one that was spinning 2500 with the other one. Yep, hangs on. That's nice. That's nice. Curious what that number was. That was a good one. It's got to be pretty darn close to perfect there. Yep. It just looks very toe up. Yep. Yep, it does feel that way. It's just a little too shapely, this old character now, isn't it? It needs to be started left quite a bit, is what it feels like to me. Okay, let's pop into... Here she comes. Lovely. It's lovely. That's got to be your best one with the, with the sim, I would think. Get up there. Yeah, that one felt nice. Good e. It's very good. Nice and high. Pretty. That's the one you want, isn't it? It's Towering into those par fives. You've maybe hit a driver out there 300 and mm. you know, you've got kind of 240 left in or something. You've got to kind of hit something nice and high. Four iron, really, you're at the end of your, your rope when it comes to you know, that club being able to do the job. So it, it certainly wouldn't do the job from that amount of distance. You'd have to we, get a low draw from there. We had your, your forearm going pretty good the other day, but it, it wasn't coming in at 47 degrees. No, 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 not you know, even close. It just wasn't, wasn't able to produce huh. quite that flight. Mm -hmm. yeah, so about a degree or so dynamical angle. So it wasn't, wasn't massive, wasn't delivered loft. Definitely more that's helping. Mm. Still fascinating about that head speed though. It's mm -hmm. really just so, yeah. so slightly different. Very, very similar, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I just think you'll get more control, a little bit more loft and a, obviously a little bit um, shorter shaft, slightly 100%. heavier. Strike was easier to keep close to center. It seemed that way, didn't it? Hit a lot more off the toe, which makes a hook way worse. Drops the spin too. Mm -hmm. um, Look at those little cluster. Yeah, and that's not, lovely, as you know, it? that's not usually me. No, it's, that's really, really nice. I would say that would be, even in a, even, sorry, in a fair, um, hybrid that isn't flat really it's kind of standard yeah if you did this exact shaft configuration and like a g410 or a mm. clk that Lovely. can be flattened i think you'd have the most anti -hook yeah. hybrid possible well i'd be curious because mike has ordered the the clamp to be able to flatten these guys so oh really we're actually going to be able to flatten these Ooh. using our, our bending bar so that's cool. uh, i believe you can get two or three degrees uh, out of them so that's awesome so yeah. you could basically make this down to like, you know, what is the standard line? These guys are about They're probably 60. Okay. Six, 59, 60. That's cool though, because then you could get someone that likes this hybrid. That yep. must be what the tour players are doing, I guess, eh? Some of them, some of some them. Of them. Yeah, I mean, obviously that's the thing with, with Rory and those boys, obviously, you know, they've adopted this for mm. the first time ever. Yeah. Um, so it it's obviously speaks volumes about the performance. Oh. For sure. A little bit heavier, a little bit shorter, guys. I think that's something to look at in hybrids. Um, it'll be uh, an experiment, I think. I'd love to see some people who've struggled with hybrids uh, yes. get you guys to try it, 
say what you, you think, maybe go up a little bit more in weight, not, mm. not in flex, but just go up in weight right. uh, a little bit, give yourself more of an iron weight shaft, mm. right? So I think that's, that's the key. When I see the progression of uh, drivers into fairways into hybrids, I normally see 60 gram driver, 70 gram fairway, 80 gram hybrid. Yes. I'd maybe like to see it start to go, you know, up to even sort of around, you know, 90, mm -hmm. uh, 95, potentially even in the hybrid, but go shorter a little bit for right. a bit more control. And then it does, it, the total weight comes down a bit, yeah. obviously, because this, this is two inches shorter than it would That's have been right. for at 100 grams. Yeah. And if you hit your hybrid great with a 80 gram shaft in it, don't pay any yeah, attention don't. to this whatsoever. No, this video is probably not for you and you probably <laughs> didn't click you. on it. So, uh, but uh, an option, I mean, yeah. hybrid is an option, but this I is agree. an option which, within that within option. option. Absolutely. Yeah, I think this will be one I tinker around with a little yeah. bit longer. Yeah, I think we will do uh, do a lot with it as well, especially the player who's stuck between the choice of a driving iron or a hybrid. Yes. This could very well be the, the solution for that player. To give them more forgiveness, because yeah. the iron head is never going to be as forgiving. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And harder to launch. Cool, yeah. awesome. Okay. All right, guys, let us know your thoughts. Yeah. Uh, maybe some of you may have tried a little home homemade yeah, yeah. sort of hybrid and done it yourself already. Let us know if, uh, if, you, if you enjoyed it. Definitely. A few of our customers are going to be leaving uh, THG with them over the, the next few weeks. Uh, we've built a few up for customers, so nice. keen to hear how they get on in the course, Matty boy. Absolutely. All right, guys, stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.